I'm Ori Melamed. In fact, this is my first video guide in English about creating an immersive space in schools under my project Three Walls Immersive Classroom. Creating an immersive video for panoramic projection, such as in Three Walls Immersive Room, is the focus of this tutorial. Google Earth Studio allows you to create video just if you have a remote control of a drone in your hand. Using the timeline, you can take very precise shots and pack them into an MP4 video. How this magic happens? As soon as I enter the apps, I choose the blank projection option and not a quick project. I prefer Full HD, but you can choose 4K or any other resolution if you wish. With 450 frames as the default, you will get a 50 second video. I leave the frame rate as 30 frames per second so that the video won't be too heavy. I'm currently in edit mode of two screens because I want to see both the map and the satellite view. During edit mode, if you only see the satellite, click view, multi-view, two view point. And now setting the starting point of my video. I'm looking for it with the mouse, forward and backward, right and left. By holding the Alt button and pressing the left mouse button, I can pan and tilt from the point where I am. Okay, I have a starting point. I can always change other things in the timeline if I need to. Upon selecting the right point, I click on Keyframe Alt Attributes and the timeline starting point is set. In order to determine the path of the camera, I will go to the end of the timeline, choose another point and click Keyframe Alt Attributes. That's it, I have a video. I save the file and render it to MP4 in Google Cloud and then download to my computer. I'm going back to the editing. The next step is to create another video on the same path, eh, but from a different angle. Just need to adjust the camera angle. The shooting angle is 33 degrees, so you can change the angle in the timeline or eh, by the mouse. I'm rendering the project after saving it. Make another file to the left and you have a panorama video from Google Earth. 